Kathy Wood of ARK Invest discussing their $2,600 per share price target for Tesla stock in 2029. Now, before we hear from Kathy Wood explaining why there's no stopping Tesla, they have an unassailable data lead, you've heard the spiel. Just wanted to put ARK's five-year Tesla fair valuation base case in perspective once again. This $2,600 per share fair value for Tesla in five years would mean that Tesla, the company, would add roughly $1.5 trillion in market capitalization each year for the next five years. It's really true to say that robo-taxis will transform Tesla's business and valuation. I mean, seriously. Elon Musk responds to this. AI just breaks all conventional valuations. And the dude is right. And it breaks people's brains as well. These kind of numbers seem unfathomable. It's like half an Apple or an NVIDIA per year and then some. Again, just to put this in context, Tesla's market cap today is roughly 0.5 trillion. So imagine three of those each year for the next five years. Not only does AI break all conventional valuations, but most brains as well. People just can't accept this. There's no way. Not going to happen. You're high. You're deluded. And maybe they're right. But if they're not, you've been warned. So $2,600 a share. Yes. Help, help us do the math. How do you get there? What has to happen and for all of that? Get there? <laughs> this is a five-year uh, right. price target, uh, as all of ours are. And uh, what has to happen is uh, an autonomous taxi platform, Tesla's autonomous taxi platform. Uh, so robo-taxis, um, uh, which is a SaaS-like model. Instead right. of selling a car and maybe the software package, and that's it, uh, this becomes a recurring revenue model, a slice of every mile driven on that autonomous taxi network. Very high margins right, right now. AKA a gigantic money printer on wheels. This is not an automotive business. What Kathy's describing here is a high margin service business with recurring consistent revenue with Tesla taking a slice of every mile driven. This is the core driver of ARK's $2,600 per share price target on Tesla stock for 2029. And clearly today, based on Tesla's current valuation, half a trillion bucks, the consensus expectations among investors has not yet really done the math or doesn't believe that Tesla's going to pull it off. Uh, auto gross margins are around 16%. Uh, gross margins in the SaaS world are more like 80%. How big a market does that have to become for Tesla to get to the $2,600 price? The reason I ask is there are some cities that, that may allow this to take place. There may be geofenced areas where people are going to do this. And there's also obviously a larger view that one day these cars will be able to do everything by themselves everywhere in the country. Yes. Well, this is the largest AI project on Earth, uh, uh, autonomous mobility broadly. And um, I think it's going to catch on as quickly as that. Now, of course, what we've had during the last uh, uh, 10 years right. is uh, a movement toward FSD. And now we're seeing safety statistics. And I remember Full self-driving for those uninitiated. Full, yeah, right. full self-driving. You, you look at the um, number of miles between accidents for the average car in the United States, it's about 200,000 miles. Right. Uh, you look at a Tesla without FSD, full self-driving, uh, just uh, autopilot, right. it's more like 600,000 miles. With Full self-driving and, and an older version, not even the latest, six, nine months ago, 3.2 million miles. Tasha Keeney has done this work. You know, Volvo built a brand on safety, and I think Tesla is going to use so, okay, but we're, and, and we're in the middle of 2024. Taxes. Yeah. You're saying we get to 2029. Yes. And that that's where that price is. I think what I'm asking is for your base case, for this to work, and by the way, we should say that Elon Musk tweeted out, uh, extremely challenging, yes. uh, but achievable on top of your tweet. Yes. Um, when does this all have to really go into effect? Yes, we uh, believe that they're setting up for, for robo-taxis, the network, within, uh, I would say, a year and a half, two years. Hmm. Elon would say, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll start But it. that also requires regulators to sign yes. off on now, all this. Yes, now regulators uh, have an issue, and that is the uh, auto accident rate has gone, after decades of going down with auto safety measures, right. sharp, we talked sharp to increase, about right, this uh, 40, 40 to 50 percent. Texting is a big part of it. 
you know, disproportionately young people. Right. So we, deaths in the U.S. have gone from the low 30s. Uh, I think they got into above 40,000. Uh, so I think the, the, the if if uh, regulators understand, and they do, that 85 percent of all traffic accidents are caused by human error. If you take the human out, you're going to make the roads Kathy, safer. Kathy, we literally asked Pete Buttigieg, the department, uh, the secretary, tre uh, the treasury of transportation, yes. uh, the secretary of transportation Pete. yesterday, Pete no. Buttigieg, about this, and he did sound like he was open to the idea as a result. Yes. Um, I mean, as I've said in the past, when regulators are presented with a mountain of irrefutable data, statistically significant data, e.g., the kind of data that Tesla's currently collecting, billions and billions of miles, their hand will be forced. It is as simple as that. Regulators make decisions, not from a place of emotion, but from reason and data. And Musk, interestingly, at Tesla's annual shareholder meeting, mentioned that the biggest challenge now for Tesla in terms of improving the capabilities of their latest FSD builds is that there are so few interventions per mile, which obviously demonstrates how safe this software is becoming. I really genuinely believe that it's going to be a matter of, hey guys, here's a fuck ton of data. Tesla presents the data. Look, we can now demonstrate at scale, statistically significant scale, that our FSD software will reduce the number of accidents, deaths, injuries, and permanent disabilities by X amount. Would you like blood on your hands? No? Well then approve our software, bitches. Next minute, approved. This is how it's going to roll out. I have absolutely no concerns around regulatory approval. In fact, I think Tesla themselves will actually be holding back. They're going to have a much higher standard of safety before they're comfortable rolling this software out than regulators would. Because Tesla always holds themselves to a high standard, especially around safety. Case in point, every vehicle they make breaks records for safety and probability of injury during a collision. Tesla could make much less safe vehicles, but they don't. That's how much they care about safety. So again, this is a non-issue. The real question will be when will Tesla have FSD, mountains of data, demonstrating capability and safety to such a high standard that they're comfortable releasing it in the first city, then the next city, and so on. And much like Kathy Wood and ARK Invest, my estimates for the launch of the RoboTaxi network is somewhere in the next 12 to 24 months. Again, if you guys want to see exactly when in my different scenarios, you'll find that in my test evaluation model on Patreon to investor supporters and above. Just click the link in the pink comment. And that's the first time I've really heard a public official who's kind of embraced it instead of saying, wait, 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 we don't like the rise of the machine. Absolutely. He is telegraphing that the roads ultimately are going to be much safer if you take the human being out of the equation. Facts. I want to share with you guys the truest statement I've ever heard. The world's biggest problems are the world's biggest opportunities. What is a big problem? A million plus people dying every year unnecessarily in road accidents. Never mind the at least 10x greater number of people, 10 plus million, who are seriously and or permanently injured or disabled in almost entirely preventable accidents. Some context might help. Since the conclusion of World War II, the largest and far and away most violent conflict in human history, in which many tens of millions of people died. Roughly the same number of people have died in car accidents. But I don't think the history books will cover car accidents and fatalities in the same depth and detail as they do World War II. This is huge. So from a doing the right thing, doing good, positively impacting the world, autonomy is going to be a big deal, a big opportunity. And speaking of this opportunity, I think most investors on autonomy are still, pun intended, asleep at the wheel. Please don't be one of them. Until humanoid robots massively expand the global labor market, this has to be the biggest opportunity that's ever emerged. Got to be one of the world's biggest problems. Definitely one of the world's biggest opportunities. You've been warned. Want more content? Early access? Bunch of perks? Click the links in the pinned comment. AG1 is awesome. I've been taking it daily now for more than three years. It's a great way to fill in nutritional gaps. It's packed full of vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients. Plus, it has prebiotics, probiotics, and adaptogens to improve gut health, regularity, and help your body handle stress. I'm always looking for an edge to help me feel and perform my best, which is why I haven't missed a day of AG1 for more than three years. And I haven't missed a daily video in more than three years. Must be a coincidence, right? Just try it and see how you feel. Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs.
But don't take my word for it. This is what viewers of the channel had to say after trying AG1. I feel like I have a lot more energy since I started on AG1. By the way, viewer, that makes two of us. On to the next. Just got my AG1 in the mail. Legit feeling the effects after day three. This viewer's been taking AG1 for eight months and says, what an investment. Another. Three months ago, I started AG1 and have been enjoying the evenness of alertness and energy that lasts the day. I just started the wife on it too. Are you convinced yet? I mean, hey, it's worth trying, right? Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR or I can keep going. There's plenty more to come. This viewer, after about a month on AG1, definitely a lack of fatigue in the afternoon. Pleasant side effect is that my coffee intake has imploded and is almost down to zero. One more. Yeah, why not? I honestly feel younger and will be continuing to use AG1. This stuff really is crazy good. I didn't think it would be, but this stuff is awesome. It really is what everyone is saying. One more. Don't mind if I do. I've just received my third month supply. I've drank it every day. I have so much energy throughout most of the day. I'm productive, started a new business, started socializing, refurbished a boat. It's no coincidence. Thank you for your persistence, your integrity, and your insights. Now look, these are not my words. These are not my testimonials. This is what you guys and girls are saying. Maybe it's 100% placebo effect, but even if that's the case, I think it's money well spent. Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs. If you're still skeptical, hey, I don't blame you. Everyone on the planet seems to be promoting AG1 now, but guess what? They weren't nearly three years ago when I had this to say privately to my Patreon audience before there was a relationship when I was asked about what I was doing for my health, energy, and so on. Just sharing my genuine, honest thoughts about a product I'd recently discovered that was at the time called Athletic Greens. Now, AG1. If I could only recommend one supplement to take, Athletic Greens, and I'm not getting paid to say this, Athletic Greens is a fucking game changer. I just, I cannot believe how effective this is. No longer having a lack of energy in the afternoons. It's fucking amazing. There's only one thing to recommend seriously, try Athletic Greens. You won't go back. So obviously, just like Elon Musk is a liar, a fraud, a con man, a scammer, a fake engineer, and Tesla's going bankrupt, you shouldn't trust that guy from about three years ago who, without any financial incentive, was promoting this product to his audience on Patreon when they're asking about health and what he's doing for supplements. Because obviously, there was some other reason he recommended that, obviously. I'm not sure what it was, but don't trust that guy. And all the testimonials, like my mental game has improved with AG1. I feel better than ever. I'm so impressed. I've bought it for both my parents. I feel more focused and have better digestion. Incredible difference. No more afternoon fatigue. It's relieved gut issues. These are all just obviously fake testimonials from fake people. Right? Wrong. Just try it. Unless you hate yourself. If you hate yourself and you don't even want to risk possibly feeling better, this is not for you. But for everyone else, what's the worst could happen? Try it for a month. See how you feel. It's a no-brainer. Just click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR. You'll get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 and K2 plus five travel packs. And you'll take the colossal risk that maybe you might have a similar experience to some of the people whose testimonials we've read in this video.